ターゲットは<笑>ユニオン・オブ・ジャスティス Well, we already saw that Netflix canceled the TV series Jupiter Legacy before it got off the ground. Only one season of this superhero show. And after the series was canceled, Netflix decided to green light the other book part of this series called Super Crooks by Mark Millar. And what we didn't realize is that they were working on two Super Crook series. One of them is a live action. The second is an anime inspired series on Netflix, which is done by Bones. And the trailer is out. And we expected to get it somewhere, I believe, around November on this. Now, before we start, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share this video. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you can get all of our notifications here on q to cast TV. And make sure you hit that all. And those of you who have subscribed, please check your subscription as YouTube is doing the unsubscribe shuffle again as part of the algorithm gods, as those are being can、uh, accounts are being canceled out of the YouTube system. And once again, thank you for subscribing. So, we've discussed this before about the Mark Millar episode, and I said、uh, basically there is a Super Crook series that is on its way, live action. We haven't heard too much about it lately. But Bones,、uh, you're familiar with Bones, and they've done a lot of good animated series.、Uh, they are putting out one, and a trailer's out, and you've seen a bit pieces of it. And it is a 13 piece arc. And、uh, we'll read a little bit of this from his newsletter and from Bounty in the Comics. In his newsletter, Mark Millar expressed the excitement about the 13 part Studio Bones production. The creators say, You're going to love it. It's a bona fide bonkers and some of the maddest stuff I ever came up with.、Uh, Millar went on to detail what the original plan for Super Crooks and how it turned into an anime inspired Netflix show. He explained the original plan was to do a European movie of this with my buddy Not Nacho Villado some years back, but we never got the funding we wanted. After Millar World was sold to Netflix, to Netflix was snapping up by our animation department, but the story itself was only four issues and just enough material for maybe three episodes of the show. So the guys asked me to create another 10 episodes of story for this. For this beast, and honest to God, it was a pure joy. Not only did it mean creating another batch of characters with Lanier again,、uh, who's a sweetheart and a genius, but I got to flesh out Johnny Bolt, giving him an origin and wider cast, and go deep with a load of stuff I've never had a room for in the comic. You guys are going to wet yourself, he added.、Uh, The,、um, let's put it this way the official description on Amazon reads When the market is flooded with a competition and authorities on your tail, what is an all American supervillain to do? Go to, go to Spain, of course. Johnny Ball convinces his villainous pals to pull off one last heist, but will culture shock get to them before the police do? And when Johnny's target is revealed as the greatest supervillain of all time, things go horribly wrong. I never read this series, and I'm probably going to pick up. I believe there are omnibuses of this.、Uh, one thing I've always said I love the supervillain. I love the villains. Because,、uh, you know, the villains make the story. I mean, you can have heroes in a story, saving people and stuff like that. But what's a superhero without a good villain arc? You know, you have Darkseid, you have the Joker, the Penguin. Um, you have Eclipso.、Uh, you know, you can go down the line, Lane, a very Apocalypse,、uh, you know, Magneto. Many different villains from, di from many different comic books and series and all that. And, you know, it's always great to see the villain in this and to see an arc on here 
that just it's focused on the villain is great. It is it is a good. The animation itself kind of reminds me of the Great Pretender which was done over at Wit Studios, which uh, if you haven't seen that, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good series. It's a pretty good series. I haven't, fin <laughs> haven't finished, uh, I, I haven't, actually, let, let's be honest, I haven't done season two yet. Season one was good on there, and I, you know, I just need to finish that off. Uh, but um, it is a good series. Uh, looking at the content uh, that was shown on here on the trailer, it looks like it's going to be good. And I do appreciate now that they're saying anime inspired adaptation. That basically, you know, one thing that Netflix has been doing, and I probably that, uh, you know, they're calling everything anime these days, and it's not. Uh, I prefer them saying anime inspired. Because basically that's what it is. If they, if they're not, if it's not coming off, you know, from a complete writing staff and stuff like that, everything from Japan. You know, they could use a Japanese studio and still it's, you know, you can't really call it an anime. But anime inspired, I think, would be a better uh, representation for this particular series. But, you know, it, like I said, you know, I'm glad they're doing it this way. Uh, live action, I don't know. After what happened the first time around with Jupiter's Legacy, uh, will they be able to get beyond um, the first season? As basically, and as Mark Millar said, that uh, you know he had not written much on this, and what he what was out there as far as book format uh, would only be equivalent to about three episodes, and he had to write ten more episodes to this series. So we're going to get about thirteen episodes. This is supposed to air sometime in November, and uh, it, around November twenty fifth, and then the live adaptation is being. Uh, done right now i don't know how far they've gotten i haven't gotten any uh response uh from some of my insiders as far as if they are along the way or is he still writing it uh you know has anything been done as far as that but we'll probably know in the next probably month or two before we get out of the end of the year so what do you think you think this will end up to be good or you know falter off like a lot of other and spot anime inspired series has happened on the netflix uh app so we reached this part of the video thank you for tuning in and don't forget check out every friday night 10 p.m eastern 7 pacific on cutiecast tv uh, another edition of saturday pre-flight as we continue to delve into the classics this week since it is the month of october we'll be delving into the We'll be delving into the anime and we'll be doing a great psychological thriller. And on my video self, we have a horror film from the anime universe. Uh, and uh, do, please do check it out. Uh, it is a nice masterpiece that, you know, people are just starting, you know, YouTubers are starting to talk about this. And it has, the, the psychological thriller has inspired other people uh, including the movie Black Swan. So check that out on Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.